it is a beautiful fall day here in Kentucky, friends. And I'm gonna invite you guys inside with me. We are going to decorate and get ready for my baby's first birthday. I'm so excited. We're gonna do a Peter Rabbit theme because that is his nursery, that was his baby shower, and I also have lots of stuff for Peter Rabbit. So we're gonna prep the food, get the table ready, and our guests will be arriving at noon. So come along with me, let's get ready. So now I'm gonna prep the main food for the party. Um, because we have been putting our house up for sale, I just haven't had time to do anything homemade. <laughs> but I am gonna doctor something up a little bit. So I don't know if you have a Costco where you live, but they sell this uh, pre-made chicken salad. Um, it's about $20 for, this is 2.77 pounds, so almost three pounds of it. It's quite a bit, it's awesome, it serves a lot of people. And I'm just gonna add some things to it to make it almost feel homemade, a little bit nicer. Um, but it already comes with a lot of good stuff in it, like celery and um, spices, etc. And then they also sell these like small mini crescent rolls. And so I'm gonna be scooping the chicken salad out onto these like mini sandwiches and putting them on a platter. So how am I gonna doctor this? Well, I went to Aldi's and I got a thing of dried cranberries. So I'm gonna add those. I think any type of dried fruit would be really good in a chicken salad. I got some pecan halves. Uh, we use these for our cookies too. So I got the big bag at Costco and I put them in a Ziploc bag and I'm actually just gonna use my measuring cup to crush those up. And uh, then the final touch to make it feel more homemade and that makes chicken salad delicious, is I love a chopped up like apple, a honey crisp or a, you know, Granny Smith. And then I like to cut grapes in half and put them in the chicken salad. This is a little more tedious. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but it makes it taste delicious. So I'm gonna work on that now. Let's make my absolute favorite two ingredient dip that is, it's like a chip dip or a veggie dip that is always super popular at every party and everybody asks me, what is the recipe? It is so, so easy. So I just get a large thing of sour cream, whatever amount of dip you want, just get that much sour cream. Um, so I get this from Costco or Sam's and then you get this Hidden Valley Ranch Seasoning. So they sell it in like packets and then sometimes you can get the bigger forms of these. I've gotten it at Sam's or Costco, the huge one. And it is literally just putting the sour cream in the bowl, pouring the seasoning on, stirring it up, tastiest dip ever. So I don't even measure anymore, but um, I got the dip to a place where you can kind of see the little speckles from the spices in it. Uh, if it looks too white and not as creamy, then um, like it's almost like an off-white color once you add the dip um, or you add the seasoning. If it's too white, then it doesn't have enough. <laughs> so that's how I measure it. I just keep adding. And honestly, I don't feel like you can have too much flavor with it. So add as much as you want, play with the flavors. Um, and I love this because you can make as much as you need with your serving a huge number of people or a small number. So a great chip dip, veggie dip for parties. So we're gonna decorate the table right now. We just put the baby down for a nap and my husband is helping me. Let me show you guys what he's doing. <laughs> we normally have these three pictures behind our kitchen table, but there were some Peter Rabbit pictures in Elam's nursery. And I love to just take from the things that you already have for entertaining or parties. Um, and I also love a good theme and I love decorating. So he's gonna put up, as I'm talking, uh, the Peter Rabbit pictures that I had from his nursery. And actually I made those pictures from the baby shower. My dad had ordered a big Peter Rabbit canvas to hang behind the cake. So I cut out 
the parts that you see in the white picture frames and I've used those in his nursery. Um, and why I like Peter Rabbit so much and why I knew I wanted that for this baby is because it reminds me of my grandma. She loved rabbits. She has passed away now and I miss her a lot. And so it's just something that, I don't know, gives me all the warm fuzzy feels <laughs> every time I see it. So I wanna show you guys while he is doing that. Actually, that looks amazing, honey. I think they can see that. <laughs> I wanna show you all some of the stuff that I have bought to make this a little more themed. Again, I don't like to buy a lot of new things. All of this over here is stuff we already had. Um, but this was something I could not pass up. So it's that blue checkered pattern. Um, it's just really screams Peter Rabbit. I got this off of Amazon. I'll link it below, but it's a tablecloth. So we're gonna put that on the table. I of course have like the actual Peter Rabbit book from Barnes and Noble. It's so beautiful. So I'm gonna set that out on the table. And then I also ordered off of Amazon. Um, they had these little like Peter Rabbit toppers for your cupcakes. So we ordered the dessert today will be from Nothing Bunt Cakes. I got a bunch in like carrot cake and pumpkin spice, their new flavors. And then I'm gonna stick these little bunny toppers on them. They have lots of cute little uh, different ones, like that one's really cute with, and it has that um, gingham check blue behind it. Hopefully it'll focus. And you can see just how cute that's gonna be. And then I loved, these came with these, which fold together and can go around the edges of your cupcake. I guess I share all this. If you know someone having a baby shower or a Peter Rabbit themed party, this would definitely be some awesome go-tos. But look how cute that is. So we're gonna put the nothing but cakes in it. And I got these off of Amazon as well. This is probably my favorite. It's a banner that says some bunny is one. So we're gonna hang that behind the table by these pictures. See how it's looking. Oh, that's looking so cute, honey. You're doing awesome. <laughs> He's straightening them out for me. And um, then this was another adorable thing that I got off of Amazon. It is a Peter Rabbit. There's a glare there. Hopefully you can see. It's a Peter Rabbit candle. And so for since it's his first birthday, first time he's going to have cake, we've got a little mini buntlet that he's it's like a tiny cake. We're going to put this on top and he'll blow that out as his first birthday candle. And it's just so precious. And then uh, there's also, I had a friend give me this. They had had this and um, their stuff. So it's just a cake topper. I don't need it because I won't have a big cake, but I'm gonna use it somewhere. And then it had more little Peter Rabbit toppers that I will probably just put among some of the food or anything I don't use, I'll just save it for Easter and reuse some of this on Easter. <laughs> And then my mom, back when he was born, had got this little like Peter Rabbit basket filler. So we're gonna put something in here. I think I'll put like forks um, and spoons in here. And then this was one of my favorite baby shower gifts. It came from a good friend of mine. Her name's Jennifer. If you're watching Jennifer, shout out to you guys. This was so creative. So the name Elam, which if you didn't know, um, I did a separate video on how we chose that name. It came from the Bible. It means an oasis in the desert. And it was how, it was the place God provided to the Israelites to give them rest. And so I just was so convicted that that had to be this baby's name. And I don't even know where she found this, but she found this print. I think she got it off of maybe Etsy. And it has his name, Elam, and it has the meaning, which is an oasis in the desert. Uh, and the scripture, Exodus 15, 27, and then she has the little bunny Peter Rabbit. I just think this is the cutest thing, y'all. <laughs> it's so, so cute. So we're gonna put this on the table as well. Um, and then I also had like a little tea set that one of my mom's friends gave her with Peter Rabbit on it. This is the actual one from England. Um, so we're gonna put that out. And then of course, another book. I love books. 
And then the last and final thing is gonna be my gift to the baby. I was at Barnes and Noble the other day and I saw this. They have, it's a Peter Rabbit puzzle train and it has all the little figures and they stack and it's like a little train. I just thought this is the cutest thing. And even the box looks really cute. So we're gonna put that on display on the table. So let's get this table decorated. All right, I wanted to show you guys how adorable this banner is. Look at this, some bunny is one. How cute is this gonna be? And we're gonna hang it with the Peter Rabbit pictures on the wall. And then I've been unfolding the tablecloth. I didn't realize it's actually more of a paper material, which is fine, um, but we're gonna get that set up. spread. We've got some chips, popcorn, lots of dip, uh, some fruit salad. We have our chicken salad and our crescent rolls for people to make sandwiches and some cheese. Look at his adorable high chair. We use the Ikea high chair so I just added this garland from Hobby Lobby and just taped a little Peter Rabbit thing to it. This is happy birthday. This is where he'll do his smash cake. And then let's look at the table as a whole. So we have some bunny is one with the cute Peter Rabbit frames and his birth stats. I love how these cupcakes turned out from nothing but cakes. They are so adorable. I ordered their current flavors, pumpkin spice and carrot cake to go with kind of the rabbit theme. And then these little cupcake holders just fit perfect over the bunt cakes with the little accents. And then I had just enough of these uh, that my friend gave me. They had that gingham check uh, that looks so cute. Look how cute, it looks like a little army of rabbits. <laughs> I had a few extra, so I stuck them out of the books, like bookmarks. I even have a cameo one over here in the flowers. I've got his name displayed there. I love this light garland. I just found this at one of those, I don't know, discount stores and I use it at every special occasion. It's been awesome. So I've got this to display his bunt cakes on. They actually gave me an extra bunt cake. I was gonna just use vanilla for him to smash, um, but I'm gonna let him choose. They gave me pumpkin spice. So since it's gonna be his first cake, I'm gonna hold both out to him and see which one he takes. And then we've got our little Peter Rabbit under here, our Peter Rabbit candle. I just love the rabbit. 
on this banner where it says some bunny is one. How cute is that? And then over here, I've got kind of like toys decorating the corner with the plates and the spoons. Um, I used his little basket to put the plastic wear in. And then this is the whole little tea set from my mom's friend. And then how adorable is this train, you guys? Oh my goodness, he is going to love it. It's got all the little Peter Rabbit characters. And I just think the box is really pretty too. So let's back up for one full shot of the kitchen. Somebody is one, my little man is one. And we're gonna celebrate him today. Thank you guys for joining me. It was so fun decorating with you all and I hope you enjoyed it or got some ideas. Maybe you have a little one turning one. Um, and I am going to get off of here and enjoy this time with family and friends. See you all next time.